Scarlett was, I think, 13 months when we decided to get pregnant again. <laughs> Scott and I both have all sisters, so first boy was a big deal. Like, we were super excited. The labor with Wells was super fast. He came out and it was that euphoric moment that every mom understands. We were so excited, he was beautiful. The nurses started whispering in the corner. I could tell there was some concern in her voice and that obviously alarmed me a little bit. She said, well, we think he has Down syndrome. And my first thought is, why are you interrupting us? Of course he doesn't. I saw Scott walking back down the hall. He was trying to look upbeat, but I could see the tears in his eyes. And he came over and he said, I think he is, honey. I think he is, and you know what, that's okay. We had some friends come talk to us up at the hospital, and then they have a daughter who has Down syndrome. And they just looked at us and said, you just hit the jackpot. Your family is gonna function like a normal family. Your family is gonna do wonderful, fun things. And it's actually probably gonna be more fun because of Wells. So once I adjusted to this new journey that our family was on, I felt this pull to be Wells' mouthpiece, his advocate. I don't want people to feel bad for him. People don't understand, just like I didn't. They see the things that are hard, but what they don't see is that Wells gives me more hugs and kisses than anybody. Wells picks up on people's moods and loves with a capacity that I don't think we're even capable of understanding. Because if you spend more than two minutes with Wells, you can tell his quality of life is better than maybe all of ours. There is nothing down about Wells, about his diagnosis, and about people who live life with Down syndrome. So that's why I started my blog, because it was important to reach as many people as possible and let them know that the quality of life is wonderful and beautiful. He's changed our lives to, to make it so the focus of every day is just joy and happiness and to bless other people. I don't even want to imagine a world without more Wells. We're so grateful that he chose our family.